What's going on, everybody? Terrell Friday here with Future DDS. And on this installment of the DSC series, we have Miss Kali Roselle from the University of Tennessee Health Science Center, College of Dentistry, uh, joining us. How you doing, Kali? How's everything going? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Thank you for taking some time out and, you know, speaking with us and, you know, informing the pre-dents about your dental school journey so far. No problem. I remember how it feels to be in their shoes, so anything I can do to help would be great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So um, if we could, you know, just uh, just to start out, if you could just give everybody a brief uh, reintroduce, reintroduction to yourself, you know, a little summary of your dental school journey, uh, where you went to undergrad, um, also, um, I'm sorry, where you went to undergrad, what you majored in, as well as if you took any time in between undergrad and dental school, what you did during that time. Okay, um, so like you said, Kylie Roselle. I'm from a very, very small town in East Tennessee called Rogersville, Tennessee. I went to UT Knoxville for my undergrad. I majored in kinesiology there. Um, and then actually started out pre-med, thinking I wanted to go to med school. Luckily, saw the light, change, <laughs> changed my plans. Um, and then I actually took a year off before dental school. I worked for a group of oral surgeons in Knoxville, which I absolutely loved. It was a great experience. I got to get a little bit of hands-on um, experience before dental school and got married. So it was a good little year off and then started dental school the next year. Man, awesome, awesome. So, uh, you know, and I know everybody has this question, and I'm sure you did when you were a pre-dent is um, what is your number one tip on doing well in the DAT? You know, it's so important on getting into school. So what's your number one tip? I actually took it twice. I have lots okay. of information. <laughs> yeah. um, the first time I tried to take it, I didn't really give myself a good schedule. I tried to work and study at the same time, and I would get home really late. I was just exhausted. Um, and I knew I wasn't ready, but I was like, I'll just see where I'm at, and then plan to retake it anyways. Um, so the second time I took it, uh, was right after I graduated college and I had just saved up enough money to pay rent and I just studied for two months. Uh, I would get up at eight every day, study most of the day every day. I took one or two days. I would probably suggest adding a little, a little time for relaxation because I was just like, I have to do this. I have to study every day. Um, but just, I think just setting a plan and having a schedule that you follow I did DAT boot camp the second time that I took it, and that was so beneficial for me. I mean, huge game changer, just having that schedule to follow. And I'm very visual, so having all of their online resources and videos, that was just extremely helpful for me. And I felt very prepared the second time going in. And just to give a little comparison, um, I guess, how would you go about preparing the first time? Were you just kind of finding practice questions wherever you can find them and just going through it that way? Were you reading Kaplan Blue Book? Like, how were you going through it? So the first time I did have a Kaplan Blue Book um, and I tried to just read through that, but I didn't have a very like strict schedule okay. and I wasn't really reviewing things once I got through it. Um, and I also read like the Cliff's AP bio book, um, which I actually reread that the second time. Uh, so maybe I remember some, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but I was just trying to read and just kind of do it that way. And that just wasn't sufficient for me. Um, having the interactive videos was so much more helpful um, with DAT bootcamp and their schedule because you're doing a little bit of each subject every day. The first time I tried to do just huge chunks and get through one subject and then go to the next, I feel like doing a little bit of each every day helped a lot the second time. For sure, for sure. Um, okay, so heading into it, um, for your school in particular, do you guys have any type of pre-dental programs or pre-dental feeder programs or enrichment programs for prospective students that are looking specifically at uh, University of Tennessee? Yes, so we are working on improving that right now, um, but we did start a pre-dental day. I actually went um, to their very first one it was great <laughs> right after college it was like in May so it was at the end of college but it was their first one and it was just so great for me like I honestly feel like it helped me get in there because you got to meet professors they actually let you um bring in your personal statement they looked at it told you things they liked they had a DAT panel where they gave advice you talked with students we got hands-on lab experience like 
that just really, I was like, okay, that's where I want to be. <laughs> so I'm actually going to be the pre-dental chair for this upcoming year. So I'm working on getting an Instagram going. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I'm hoping to start an Instagram and just like be a little more involved aside from just the pre-dental day, because I'd like to keep communication with pre throughout the year as they have questions and stuff. Man, awesome. Awesome. So for you, uh, I guess in particular, uh, you know, you stayed kind of close to home, but was there any type of desire to go outside? Did you apply to, to other schools outside of Tennessee? And, and how many schools did you actually end up applying to? I honestly don't remember the number, <laughs> but <laughs> it was quite a few because I was like, okay, I'm taking every shot. Like I've got to get in. Yeah. Um, but I actually, so Memphis is actually, I'm from the opposite side of Tennessee. So I'm about seven hours from home. Oh, wow. Okay. But still in state. I kind of did want to go out of state. So I was like, oh, it'd be fun to live somewhere else for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but out of state tuition is just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so it just made more sense to stay in Tennessee. And when I toured and went to pre dental day, I ended up loving it. Um, probably wouldn't have applied to as many schools looking back. <laughs> but I was just like, you know, I just got to get in. I think I applied yeah. to like 10 maybe. <laughs> so. Oh, trust. Yeah, I could definitely identify with that. And, you know, just being nervous and anxious about that whole process. So it makes sense. Uh, so how was the uh, the interview at uh, University of Tennessee? You know, um, you say you went to a pre dental day, but how was your actual interview day? Um, you know, kind of walk us through how you felt going in and, and through the course of the day. Yeah. Um, so UT, what they do is actually really cool. Um, they don't want you to be super stressed out. So they have a very laid back interview day. And it's so nice because their philosophy is that they can't really get a feel for who you are as a person. If you're super anxious and you're just putting on this polished face, like this is who I am, here's my resume, <laughs> you know? Um, so they want to like actually get a feel for you as a person. So they do a really back, really laid back interview. Um, come in, we kind of had breakfast and then we did a tour of the school. They split us into groups. And so some of the groups would interview well, it wasn't a huge group, but some of the people would interview while the rest toured the school. And then the interview process was just uh, me and two faculty members. And they just sat there and we just kind of had a conversation. They're like, tell me who you are. So I just started telling them. <laughs> and then they did ask about a few specific things on my application. So that was good. I had the opportunity to talk about some things uh, that I wanted to. So that was good. But overall, it's it's really nice because I was so stressed out. I get so nervous and it was like, oh my gosh. I was like sweating through my suit. <laughs> but it was really laid back and I felt really good leaving. So that made me feel a lot better about the process. So. Yeah, and clearly you did a good job. It worked out. You, you got <laughs> It worked experience. out. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> there we go. So, you know, speaking of, you know, finally getting the acceptance, you know, you realize you're going to UT. Uh, you know, got the acceptance, got that seat. How was it transitioning into school? How was it going through that first year? And if you could just explain a little bit more about the curriculum and kind of getting exposed to that dental, that dental side of school. So first year was rough. <laughs> just trying to get used to a whole nother level. I'd had a year off, so I hadn't been studying. Um, but I felt ready to jump in. I was like, I've got this. Like, I'm ready to go. This is what I've been wanting for forever. Um, and it wasn't too bad. It was just a different level. So at UT, they do, um, we call them PAR exams. So it's one large exam with all of your subjects on it. So you could be studying for 11 subjects, potentially at one. Oh, and wow. they do that to prepare you for boards. And we've historically had a really good boards passing rate. So, and it did help when I took boards. I kind of felt prepared because every question is from a different subject. You can't just get in the groove. It's like, okay, uh, is this micro or real pathology? Like what exactly am I studying right now? So um, it was hard to learn how to study that much information for one exam. But once I got the hang of it, it's kind of nice because once you have that exam, then you have like a week to just kind of regroup, get, you know, take a breather, um, catch them on lab work. It's usually what I'm doing. So it's not too bad. First year was a little rough, and then we had anatomy first year, so oh, that's a monster. <laughs> yeah, that's, a in the right there. <laughs> that's rough, but I loved it. It was a really fun course. Um, 
I felt like I got a lot out of it. So it was a good experience. It was difficult, but I felt like they kind of worked us into, you know, they, they didn't just throw us off the cliff. <laughs> like our, our first test was easier and then they kind of built it up. So. Gotcha, gotcha. And how exactly are you guys um, exposed or kind of introduced into the, the dental lab work? So pre the, uh, you know, assistant in clinic, like how, how is that kind of integrated into your first year? So they're working on integrating us sooner. Okay. Um, right now, that's something that they're working with. Gotcha. But we kind of, we had like a little bit of shadowing experience. You had like a certain amount of hours that you would get like per semester, just like shadowing in clinic. And then we just took a course uh, this past semester um, called patient evaluation. And it was just getting us ready for clinic. So we were working on each other as patients essentially and doing extra oral, intraoral exams and stuff like that. So pretty okay. good, um, but we're starting planning soon. So. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's an exciting time, definitely. So, congrats, congrats for making it through and finally getting to that point. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so last few questions here as we start to wrap up. Um, so I guess you know it's kind of awkward because you only have your one dental school experience, but what is something that you feel like um is unique to your dental school to UT? You know, what's something unique about your experience there? Uh, one thing I really liked about UT when I came to visit was just it's one of the very first schools that was established. So they've had a long history of clinical excellence. And that was extremely important to me because I was like, when I graduate, I want to be as good clinically as I can possibly be before I'm on my own working on patients. Um, and then I feel like our school really works to reach out to the community um, with the coronavirus going on lately. They were like printing in 95 masks uh, using some of our dental equipment so that was really cool okay. and they were just working to engage with the community as much as possible so i love that Man, that's cool that's cool so just finishing up here uh last question is if you could go back um in time and tell younger kylie you know you're you're stressed about applications and you know studying for dat and everything um if you could go back and tell yourself any words of advice or any piece of advice what would that advice be Breathe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, <it's> um, <laughs> honestly, just uh, I would say work hard. I think that over everything uh, is most important. And just um, for me, it was just trusting God's timing because I didn't really want to take a year off, and it ended up being a huge blessing for me. Like I got married in the year off. I got to work for some oral surgeons and had a great experience. And my plans didn't work out how I wanted, but I still ended up here and was very thankful for that year off. I had a year to relax a little bit. And I feel like a lot of times we're also tie bay. If we don't get in immediately, it's like, oh my gosh, what yeah. am I gonna do? <laughs> you think everything's over with, right? <laughs> yes, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna get in. Like my whole plan is over. And that's not the case at all. There are plenty of people, I have plenty of classmates who are in their thirties. And I mean, they're in their second year of dental school. They've just persevered and they've worked hard and they've shown dedication and shown that this is what they want. I think if you want it bad enough, you can make it. You're going to make it happen. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Couldn't say it any better myself. Uh, definitely identify with, with, with all that that you say, you know, just being stressed and getting there. But, um, so if you, you know, I think that's going to wrap it up. Uh, if anyone has any questions for you though, how could anyone, you know, reach out to you? I guess Instagram would be the best way if you could give everyone your handle. Yeah, so my Instagram is Kylie Dane. Um, and then also we have a pre-dental email. So it's uthscpredental at gmail.com. And I'd be happy to answer any questions anyone has. Yeah, well, awesome. Thank you again, Kylie, you know, for taking some time out, you know, uh, amongst all of this COVID stuff, <laughs> you know, first time spending with your family and everything to, to come and speak with us. and inform the pre mm -hmm. about the free information. All right. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Definitely. And for all you out there, if you haven't already, make sure you go follow Kylie, uh, Kylie Dane. Uh, if you have any questions for us, myself and Tyler, um, go over to Instagram, follow us at underscore future DDS, send us a DM. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, other than that, that's going to be it. See you guys on the next episode of the DSC series. Thanks again, Kylie. Thank you. All right.